Uh, hello, uh, good evening. Um, Happy Valentine's Day coming this week. A uh, couple, you know, couple of days. Uh, let me get some water. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you a story, okay? Uh, when, I'm not sure when, uh, maybe I was in undergrad or maybe I was in the US Army like two or... <sighs> where was I? I'm not sure if where, where I, I was undergrad or when I was in the US Army, I don't know Probably, I, bet, probably I, I think I was in the undergrad in Madison, Wisconsin. And, you know, I live by myself in an efficiency apartment as an undergrad in my 20s. I, uh, you know, undergrad, right? Kind of new in America. Of course, I was born here, so that's how I got my citizenship. But, uh, I grew up in Korea, so I came to America after graduating Korean high school, so yeah, I was living by myself. I was not living in a dorm, so I cooked the food I eat as an undergrad, which was very new to me, so uh, because I wasn't used to cooking, you know, just, you know, being out of my parents' house for the first time, so it was not easy. Okay, so I'm 41 years old now, and that I'm, that story was when I was like in my early 20s. So it was not easy, and I guess I didn't eat very well, and I studied very hard, so I was kind of skinny, right? And during some summer vacation or whatnot, right, I went back to Korea to visit my parents, and after I stayed there, South, South, South Korea, with my parents, in my parents' house in South, South Korea for about two weeks, okay? And I came right back to study some more, okay? Until I graduated from UW Medicine, okay? So, I came to visit my parents in South, South Korea, and they fed me very well. Okay, they are good cooks, both, my, both of my parents, okay? So, three days passed since I came to visit my parents. And my dad looked at me and he made a wonderful joke, okay? We all laughed. He said, hey son, you resurrected in three days. Okay, because I was well fed and now I look more healthy in three days. Okay, so yeah, she, he, my dad kindly and generously likened me to uh, resurrection of Jesus, and uh, that was so nice of him. So these three days is like this. Okay, uh, before Jesus, this prof prophet Jonah, Jonas in uh, Old Testament, yeah, he was under the belly of whale for three days, then the whale regurgitated from his, its stomach Jonah on the ocean, nice sandy beach. <laughs> but he was inside of the whale's belly for three days, okay? Now, nah. yeah, Jesus being dead for three days, third day he resurrected, right? According to Christ, Christian Bible, okay. Uh, why am I telling you all this? Uh, because um, I mean, if you haven't watched previous episode, two episodes, let me give you some recap, okay? Yeah. Uh, uh Google, YouTube, they sent me a notice that uh, I should watch my language because it was just out of control, and they were right. I'm glad they have that policy for people like me, uploaders, and also they actually enforce that policy by having their Google YouTube employees 
watch all these episodes here and there to make sure we don't become too out of line, right? Yeah, and I was out of line so many times, so uh, yeah, I, I think they're alright. Okay, so yeah, I will watch my mouth and um, But I, yeah, so Google, YouTube, they're doing a fantastic job, no problem, okay, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll do better. Uh, I'll be more normal, <laughs> okay. I'll be nice, nicer, all right. No problem, okay, I got it. Now, so... The the uh, I noticed something okay so I because many times I just look up my own name or I look up humanology to see if uh, I'm getting known or this humanology is getting known or not okay so it used to be such that uh, Google YouTube I mean Google Google search engine if I type humanology and do a video search or image search. This human knowledge used to be used to appear on the top page because there's so many episodes uploaded in human knowledge in the name of human knowledge. Okay, so yeah, but I looked up human knowledge in Google video search and then I this human knowledge stopped appearing. So I guess they kind of black blacklisted me and this human knowledge. That's fine too. Why? Uh, because I uh, I mean the lesser I'm known, the less this human knowledge is known, it's be better for me. Why? Because uh, if this human knowledge gets known, if a lot of people watch this, uh, I, can, I can get into some serious trouble. Why? Because I say so many offensive things here. Well, I used to, but I won't anymore, okay? Because I want to keep doing this, okay? Yeah, Google, YouTube, yeah. Uh, if you are watching this as a Google YouTube employee, okay, you are the boss, all right? <laughs> yeah, I'll do what you tell me. You are the boss, okay? No problem. So, uh, yeah, I guess in the eyes of Google YouTube employees, uh, this human knowledge series is kind of toxic, uh, too offensive, and really perhaps corrupt of the youth. So I guess they decided that uh, Google search engine, video search, should not honor this version of human knowledge because I, I guess they think it's just too toxic and too pollute, polluting and corrupting, perhaps, or too offensive. So yeah, that's fine. Yeah, they can do whatever, right? It's their company, property. But at the same time, time and again, I start to agree, I mean, not agree, but start to see the, some validity in Senator Warren, Elizabeth Warren, and Senator Bernie Sanders' standpoints that uh, uh, Google or big companies like Microsoft, Facebook, Amazon, uh, perhaps they are getting too big and perhaps too controlling and dictatorial and tyrannical. Why? Uh, because uh, it, it does concern me, uh, Google, for example, behind the scene, uh, they control the flow of information without anybody noticing without any accountability or transparency they control the information flow behind the closed door without anybody noticing without anybody noticing so that is a legitimate concern and i heard about this concern before from somebody else now I get to see, uh, yeah, it, it could be somewhat problematic. Okay. Is it fair to say? Mr. Ms. Google YouTube employees? Come on. I mean, Google YouTube company, they fired this guy, innocent man, okay, this uh, Harvard graduate. I guess he majored in biology. He became a computer programmer. So he was a programmer in Google. And, um, he circulated this uh, conservative view essay and they fired, Google fired this handsome man, very smart Caucasian guy. And 
just because well, he was circulating some conservative view, that's not, that doesn't sound very American, okay? Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. It was a big news, right? About a couple of years ago. Yeah. And another thing I noticed is that, so YouTube, this human knowledge series, it has this counter, like how many people, how many views there has been in this particular episode, right? I saw at one time this particular episode, its count was four people or four views. And next day, it went to one. Okay, so obviously some Google YouTube employees changed that four, four views into one view. What was that about? I'm not sure. Okay, but I can take a guess. Okay. Perhaps uh, Google YouTube employees, the examiners who watch this very episode for evaluation purpose, for compliance with their Google YouTube policy, right? Yeah, I, I didn't know they, they do that until like yesterday. They gave me a notice that I should watch my mouse. Okay. Like, um, we are watching you, man. Oh, I, I didn't know. I'm sorry. Uh, and thank you for letting me know. Okay. Yeah, I will watch my mouth because, yeah. Yeah, Google YouTube employee, you're welcome here. Okay. Why? Because now I, I have an audience. Okay. Yeah. You're welcome here. Okay. Yeah, I, I appreciate what you do, Google YouTube employees. Some of the smartest people in America, right, get jobs in uh, Silicon Valley, right? So you're, you're one of them, right? Yeah, congratulations. You got a great, fantastic job, okay? Yeah. And um, you are doing your job very well, okay, by the way. Yeah, so I, I appreciate what you do, Mr. or Ms. Google YouTube employees, okay? You, you're a fantastic job. Or you, you're doing a fantastic job, okay? So, yeah. Cheers to you, okay? Now. So, what happened? Why did four views become one view next day? I guess perhaps Google YouTube employees, uh, they sometimes watch this in their company mode, in their company computers, right? So that when they view this YouTube uploaded videos, so that it doesn't count toward that views. Because Google YouTube examiners, they are not exactly viewers. They are examiners, right? They get paid to watch this, right? But maybe sometimes they are being lazy and they watch this maybe with their personal computer or on their cell phone. So it ended up getting counted. Because it's not company computer in a company mode, so maybe they have to had to subtract it. I don't know. Maybe that's what happened. Okay, that's one possibility. Second possibility, uh, perhaps they're trying to encourage me from uploading these videos by, hey, Mister Lee in Alaska, nobody's watching you. Okay, so stop trying. Nobody's watching you. M maybe they. So that's why they put those views as zero or one or. I don't know, okay? Uh, because I recently learned that uh, Google, they do something a little bit shady behind the scene, like they have this blacklist, I guess. And if they, in their mind, if they believe that this video is not very beneficial to the people and then they put it in the blacklist and so that such that uh, Google search engine would give no result about this video. Okay, so I'm speculating. Okay, yeah, it, it, it's my guess. So they, they do something shady behind the scene. Google, your company, okay? <laughs> Google YouTube, okay? Because I, I'm a computer programmer myself, okay? So I, I when I see something, happening in the web, I can kind of reverse engineer. I'm not a hacker, never once hacked, because I don't do that, because that's crime, and I'm not a criminal, right?
But as a computer programmer, yeah, I can kind of reverse engineer and, and kind of see what's going on. Okay, when when I see the behavior of a website, okay, I can kind of see what what's going on. Okay, because I used to be a web programmer too. Okay, so. But at the same time, every company, small or big, yeah, shady under the table dealings. That's it's. Uh, that's normally how it is, right? Yeah, big companies, small companies, even governmental agencies. It's, it's something shady, right? Yeah, it, that's just how this world is. No company is perfect. No government is perfect. Just like no human being is perfect. All right? So I understand. Okay? Yeah, every company, yeah, they have some shady side. Yeah, it, because that's how we human beings are. Nobody's perfect, right? Human condition. It's just the way it is. So I understand, okay? So. Alright. Let's take a break, okay? So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, there's nothing to worry about, really. Okay, yeah, 200 episodes. Uh, I decided not to upload it because, uh, yeah, it's just too offensive. So, but that's fine. Why? We're gonna review those topics that I did in past. 200 episodes we'll revisit revisit those concepts okay no worries right and in a way it's more time efficient because 
when I came up with this, this proof of Einstein's special and general relativity, it took me a while on camera. But now that I know what it is, how to disprove them, uh, I can do it quickly, more efficiently. And some other mathematics, linguistics, uh, chem biochemistry, chemistry, economics. Yeah, I got some good results there too. Okay, I, I will share it with you again. Why? Because I'm not going to upload those episodes. Okay, so... And I did fumble. It took a long time on camera to reach those conclusions, but I know it in my head. And some of them I wrote down in my notebook. Okay, so it will be more time efficient to because I know what the right way to go about it by now. Okay, so we, we'll revisit this, those things. Okay, no problem. Live and learn, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, Google YouTube employees, if you are here, yeah, very welcome. Okay, you're very welcome to be here. Just part. It's possible that you are the only audience. Okay, and I'm glad. Okay, that I have an audience. Okay, and not only that, you play chaperon for me, chaperon. Yeah. Oh, I can use some chaperon. So that I behave, right? In biochemistry, they have sharper molecules, something like that, right? So. <coughs> okay. Yeah. But every now and then, I may joke about you, Mr. Ms. Google YouTube employees. Why? Because you are there. And you are there for me, too. All right? Thank you. Thank you. Let's be friends, okay? Let's not be enemies. <laughs> let's, be, let's be friends. Let's get along. Come on. Uh, I, I don't know what nationality you are, all right? Uh, I don't know. Because Google has offices all around the world, right? It's international corporation, right? And Google outsource their jobs to India, China, even perhaps in Korea to South Korea, I don't know. Okay, so. Yeah, but you're all good welcome here, okay? So, uh, but when I make jokes about you, Mr. Ms. Google YouTube employee, employees, uh, please don't take it as an offense. It's a joke between friends, right? It's just teasing, okay? Come on. And uh, <coughs> I would never call you a stalker, although you've been following this all along. Yeah, that kind of looks like stalking, right? Uh, but hey, you're a welcome guest, okay? So, yeah, you're not a stalker, all right? And don't think I'm harassing you, okay? Uh, because I'm just making some jokes friend to friend okay because you are here right so uh, I will regard you as my friends okay is that okay is that acceptable huh <laughs> sure now yeah let's get back But do you really want me to get back to science? Perhaps let's have some fun. How about that? Okay. Friend to friend. All right. Okay. You got a job in Google, YouTube, in whatever country you may be. Okay. Maybe you're in law 48, law 49. I know into Hawaii. Okay. So I just call it law 49. Okay. Uh... But I know in Alaska, there is no Google company's office. Okay, I'm in Alaska. So maybe you are in lower 49 or some other countries. I don't know. Okay. <coughs> but if you happen to be in Silicon Valley, how do you feel when you walk down the corridor hallway of your 
Google office in Silicon Valley, which is like one hour south of San, San Francisco. Yeah, I've been there. Okay, so I mean, I applied to jobs there, but I never. Before I got a job, I joined the U.S. Army instead, right? So yeah. How do you feel? Because you're, if you're watching this, obviously you're not a computer programmer in Google YouTube, right? Most likely your major is not computer science, right? Yeah. So how do you feel when computer programmer in Google YouTube, you know, is walking towards you in the hallway and you walking towards them, or maybe you get to see them in cafeteria? Uh, how do you feel? Do you feel like inferior, species, lower class? Because I know in Silicon Valley, computer programmers like this, right? So how do you feel? Huh? Do you feel like some in inferior class or? Or maybe it's not quite so because I did take some interviews in Silicon Valley. Okay. Yeah, what? Cupertino, Santa Clarita, is it? Whatever, I don't remember, it's such a long time. San Jose, yeah. I was there for a couple of months, and but I decided to join the US Army instead because uh, I had an interview and there is this secretary of some gaming company that I was interviewing. And she would treat me like with such a disdain. Oh, you're a computer programmer looking for a job like a beggar. You're begging for a job, right? So I would treat you like a dog. Okay, and you have no choice, right? You have to just suck it up, right? Oh, you poor computer programmer. Okay. And so I was like, oh my goodness, I don't deserve this after what I have been through. And how old was I? like 31 and she seemed to be younger than me I don't know maybe she was about the same age but I was like at the age of 31 being treated like, treated like a dog by this secretary begging for a job I was like I'm too old for this shit okay so yeah I joined the US Army instead and when I stepped in the U.S. Army recruiting station, they treated me as if I'm some kind of royalty, prince. Hey, yeah, man, yeah, welcome to the U.S. Army recruiting station, right? I was so welcome there. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I signed up. Okay. So. I don't know how it is in Google, YouTube. Okay, your office culture, corporate culture, I don't know. Maybe programmers are the king, princess, princess, royalty, everybody else kind of lower class. Or maybe it's the other way, I don't know. I never worked there. Okay. So yeah, I, I, I'm just, I was just curious, that's all. Okay. Okay, we'll take five minutes break. Okay, I'm some more for it. Yeah, I, I talk too much. Oh boy. We'll take a break. Okay, so. <coughs> yeah.
So was it Santa Clara instead of Santa Clarita? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, some Silicon Valley towns. There's small towns like that. Cupertino, yeah, Apple, and then San Jose, and around nearby all those towns, right? Yeah, what Stanford and what Palo Alto or something, right? Which is like 30 minutes south of the Silicon Valley, right? Yeah, I was in San Jose. That's where I joined the U.S. Army. Okay. So. Yeah. So. The. Uh, what else do we talk about? Yeah, in a way, this is. Not a curse, but kind of disguised blessing because I'm running for president and I'm running for Alaska State Senate. Right. So. Yeah, my name is out there. Right. So people may look me up. Okay, and then uh, they may watch, watch this YouTube, Google YouTube si Humanology series out of curiosity. Who is this, what, black horse candidate, right? So it's better be up to date, right? Because uh, 200 episodes, the last recording that's uploaded like was, was filmed in like Five months ago, September of last year. But now that I decide not to upload these 200 episodes, I record this series, um, this episode today, and I upload it today. So there's only one day lag lagging time behind as opposed to five months. Okay, and the election is this year. So it does serve some good purpose there, right? <coughs> I don't do YouTube live because <coughs> I need this recording saved as a digital file, MP4, in my hand, in this house. Why? I Hey, things can happen. Google, YouTube decide not to publish it or get rid of it. Yeah, things can happen, right? So I need that copy for myself so that that's not the only reason i don't do live youtube live which is fantastic feature but i, I don't do it okay why uh, what if i make a mistake i have to edit it out right yeah so various reasons okay so yeah uh Let's talk about something else. I watched this documentary quite recently. Uh, it's about, yeah, where some of you are. But before we get into that, okay, so, okay, so I noticed this interesting uh, <clears throat> behavior of this YouTube website. If there was four viewers, next day, one viewer. What was that about? Why did this viewer viewership count counter changed? Why did it change? Yeah, one one scenario. Yeah, they want to subtract this Google YouTube employee watching. Okay, maybe there was that. If that's the case, then all this Google YouTube counter on this human number series. Maybe there was one person who is actual viewers, actual viewer. Okay, so there's this slight possibility that somebody, known Google YouTube employees, some real actual viewers, they may be out there somewhere. I'm not sure about that, okay, but there's that possibility, okay. If you are that person, thank you. Thank you for being the real actual viewer as opposed to Google YouTube fake viewers, okay. That's so fakes. They're getting paid to watch this. That's not true viewership. That's fake viewership, right? So. <laughs> That's so fake. Come on. Well, wait, there's some real viewers out there, okay? And, and thank you. But if you are Google YouTube employees, fake viewers, I still thank you, okay? Yeah. Everybody's welcome here, everybody. 
So this uh, particular documentary, uh, I ran into it because I was reading some news and <coughs> there's this lady in the news. Her name is, is it okay to say her name? Of course it is. She's not some private person. No, she's celebrity. But I didn't, I never heard her name or saw her face be, ever before. But she is very famous person in Silicon Valley. Okay, so yeah, she celebrated this public figure, so it's fair to mention her name. You don't think so? Well, take my words for it. Mr. Mr. Miss Google YouTube employees, okay, most likely you are not a computer programmer like I once was. Most li likely you are not a lawyer either, which I am now, all right? So yeah, public figures, yeah, we can comment about that. It's not violation of privacy. Why? Because they are celebrities. Their names are already out there in the news. Okay? All right. Her name is Elizabeth Holmes. She's a very attractive lady. She's Caucasian. She's blonde hair, white skin, big blue eyes, and very slender, tall. She looks like a model, right? And she's really beautiful lady. Okay? And I think that's probably why she was so successful initially because she's she's very very attractive lady physically okay yeah and she's so young too very young once she was worth nine billion dollars during the dot-com era late 1990s during the president bill clinton era and actually she met president bill clinton there's some footage about that in the documentary and yeah she founded this company called uh, I forgot the name, okay, something like Theranos or something Something like that, okay, so it's about blood sampling, okay, as opposed to needle and vein, these tubes Just one prick, a couple of drops of blood, then we can diagnose you because we got some high technology back in Silicon Valley. That's what she advertised. Okay, but she advertised before she had that technology. And through all these years, uh, her company never invented, like, materialized. Uh, What's the English word I'm looking for? Implemented. She never, imp she and her people never were able to implement that technology. Okay. So basically, the company got dissolved, and now she's facing fraud charges. Okay. So I read in the news recently. So I looked her name up, and voila, there's a documentary for her, I'm uh, about her, and of all places, yes, in YouTube. Okay, so I watched it, right, quite recently. Yeah, I mean, I've seen her kind before, like, uh, some people, they enjoy lying, because, let's act. Let's say I'm a pathological, charismatic, professional liar. What do I do? I enjoy lying. Because, hey, I'm a liar. I lie to you. I know it's a lie, but you don't know. You don't know what I say to you is a lie. Now, I'm in control because I have superior knowledge. I know what I say to you is a lie, but you you don't know what I say to you is a lie. Superior knowledge, upper hand. Yeah, liars. Some liars they enjoy lying. Okay, so and uh, I guess she was one of those kinds. Okay, because I've seen those people before. All right, so charismatic liars. Okay, yeah, I, I have seen those kinds. She, 
Okay, let me be honest. I suffered that kind before, all right? I've been fooled, all right, by those people. <clears throat> but it didn't take me long to realize that they are one of those pathological, charismatic, professional liars, all right? It didn't take me very long. Why? <sighs> because they're so arrogant, okay? They think they can fool anybody. So they make mistakes, right? Obvious lies. They're so easy to detect. So this night, starting with K, modern day night, Wall Street Journal uh, writer, writer, he wrote an article debunking all her lies. Okay, so that's how it all began. Okay, so uh, I did some whistleblowers, right? Yeah. One thing very interesting about her story is that she fooled many big and famous people like President Bill Clinton, ex First Lady uh, Hillary Clinton, current Democratic Party presidential candidate Joe Biden, and Mr. Henry Kissinger, former Se Secretary of State, and uh, General, Marine General, what's his name? I don't remember. You watch that documentary, okay? Some big people. She fooled all of them, deceived all of them. Very famous, very smart people, even Henry Kissinger. <laughs> okay, she deceived them all. Okay. Even Sam Walton family. All right, big time investors, Walgreen, and big time politicians. She fooled them all. She lied to them and they believed it. People from people in Stanford and yeah, big names. Okay, so yeah. Even Rupert Murdoch or Fox Company, Fox Corporation, I think she fooled them, fooled them too. Okay, uh, if I remember correctly. Okay, so yeah, all the big names. Okay, it was very interesting documentary. Okay, so yeah, and I watched it in yes Google YouTube. Okay, so thank you. You guys are doing fantastic job. Okay, Google YouTube. You guys are. Right. Okay. So. Yeah. Uh, let's take five minutes back, right? And we we'll get back to whatever. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> because. I have this job to do, okay, to prove my worth, my value, my, and to restore my reputation to these Google YouTube employees, right? I have to prove myself so that <clears throat> they just let me stay here, right? So. Okay, we'll do some science, okay? So, yeah, you, Google YouTube employees, you are the boss, okay? Yeah, you are the boss. We we'll take five minutes break. Okay, so. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah.
Okay, we are back. So whether you are Google YouTube employee or not, it doesn't matter, okay? You are audience. You are here with me. And I'm very grateful, okay? <coughs> yeah, I got some audience, right? That's great. Okay. Let's do some science, all right? Because these Google YouTube employees, you know, they are so kind and generous to me, okay? Oh, yeah, your science may have some value, okay? They're just giving you a verbal warning, right? Yeah. Just watch your mouth, please. Oh, yeah, yeah. I watch my mouth, okay? <laughs> no problem. Okay. Yeah. Happy Valentine's Day. Coming. Okay. Yeah. You want me to say it? Yeah. I love you. Right. I love everybody. I love you just like I love anybody else. Okay. So it kind of dilution, right? I'm sorry, but I'm just telling the truth. Okay. I love everybody. Okay. What did I just erase? Well, it's not gonna get uploaded. Why? Because I said things, all right? It's a brand new notation convention for uh, molecules. We'll do this at some point, okay? Uh, but, uh, I mean, if I don't get elected as a president, <laughs> Or if I, if I don't become Alaska State Senator, all right? Maybe even so, maybe I still do this, okay? I, I don't know. Maybe I become too busy, all right? Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm running for US President and also Alaska State Senator, okay? I'm not that big, but my name is out there, right? So, yeah. Whatever. Okay, so. Okay. Subscience. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Global warming, right? That's big topic. Very popular topic. Okay, so. Yeah. It's an interesting problem, but people didn't quite get it right. All right. Why? Because they're not knowledgeable in science. They're not literate. All right. So let's educate people. All right. And Google YouTube, they were so right, okay? I should not offend people like I used to because then I'm excluding them, all right? And they're not gonna get benefit of this knowledge. And perhaps that's not very fair, all right? So I will stop discriminating, okay? I will stop offending certain groups of people so that they get benefit of knowledge perhaps I get benefit of doubt <laughs> yeah global warming global cooling this cycle right ice age the ice age ice age the ice age right this continent used to be covered covered by ice the great big lakes right yeah it's a scar on land by glaciers in Michigan Canada right the glacier lakes this continent and this continents and lands planet Earth used to be covered by ice it used to be that cold and Saudi Arabia Gulf Middle East used to be jungles back then. That's why they have so much oil and gas nowadays. Nowadays, desert. Deserted desert. So where does all this oil come from? Because back in the days, it used to be jungle, like Amazon, Saudi Arabia. 
Okay? During the Ice Age, it used to be jungle back there. Back then. Alright? So climate change is nothing new. It's been change is the only constant in the universe. Okay, so you don't have to be alarmed too much, okay? You know, I did all this mathematical proof of, you know, you, you don't have to worry about this iceberg melting and eclipsing sure by coastal area like New York or Los Angeles. Okay, you don't have to worry about that because we don't have that much ice left anyway. Okay, so they say that because they don't understand science. Scientists say that because they want to be popular, not contrary to mainstream majoritarian views. This concern about global warming. Okay, but global warming, there's nothing to worry about. Okay? Even if all this ice melt, sea level will not rise very much. Okay, you know, I did all that in my mathematical modeling, but I'm not going to upload it because I also said some offensive things, but we will revisit that in time, okay? If I have time, all right? So let's mathematically model this global cooling and warming cycle, okay? In mathematical modeling, uh, you have to simplify, right? Uh, two things, maybe three things. In the beginning on Earth, the air atmosphere was filled with carbon dioxide. Okay. Well, whatever carbon, okay, so maybe methane, because you know I what there there this natural phenomena phenomenon, and I took some picture of that in some frozen lakes here in Alaska, okay. Oh, it's beautiful. It's like air bubbles, flattened, large disc looking, like frisbee looking air bubbles trapped in frozen lake ice so i looked that up okay yeah it was produced by bacteria at the bottom of this frozen lake of all those decomposed plants animal whatever right feces urine they're producing methane CH4 so it's bubbling up but it's winter in Alaska or Russia or Canada right so you get trapped in the ice this ice disc I mean bubble flat bubble methane disc circular looking just like frisbee okay layer after layer after layer looking like pancakes it's so beautiful. I did take a picture of that in Alaska frozen lake. All right. It's found in Canada, Russia, <coughs> Lake Baikal, right? Yeah. So yeah, in the beginning, there's carbon dioxide in the air, all right? And there comes plants, carbon fixers. They absorb the carbon dioxide from the air and they ground it on the surface of the earth with these leaves, trunks, trees, plants. Okay? And then they, they die. Maybe some animal eats them, herbivores, or maybe some bacteria, fungus, whatever. Okay? So they release all the carbon stored in these plants back to the air there's a carbon cycle it's something i learned in south south korea as a high school middle school student all right so i i don't know what american school public schools teach these all these american students 
But when I was in Seoul, South Korea in 1980s, 1990s, uh, yeah, I learned that in school, public school, Seoul, South Korea, okay? I don't know what they teach in American public school nowadays. <laughs> you know, somehow my right hand is kind of like sore, okay? So I have to use my left hand, okay? Uh, I'm old, I'm aging, all right, so. But, you know, contrary to what I said in the last, or last, last episode, uh, it's not likely that I die very soon. Why? Because I drive very slow. I obey the speed limit 99% of the time. Okay, I drive very carefully. So most likely I won't get into any car accident. I look at my rear view mirror once in a, I mean, once in 30 seconds, like driver's license test, written test manual says that I should do. Yeah, I do that because I want to be safe. And do I go to hiking in Alaskan jungle forest? No, not really. I just run on, around the blocks, okay? So yeah, I won't get bare bowling, right? How about earthquake? We had recently earthquake in Alaska like two years ago, right? I survived. Yeah, just a bookcase fell on my back, so I got injured a little bit, but I didn't go to hospital for it because it was some bruise, all right? I didn't break any bone, okay? But it was quite painful, okay? So it was a big bookcase. I was at, in my office, All right? But yeah, I, no problem, okay? I, it got all healed up, all right? So no broken bones. So, because Alaska earthquake happened like two years ago, it's gonna be like several decades when big earthquake would happen again. Why? It's spring. Spring, potential energy, all right, accumulation, then all of a sudden big release. And in the history of Alaska, it happens like uh, once in half a century. It happened two years ago. So for half a century from now, we are not going to have big earthquakes. Okay. Yeah. So that's that. So I'm not gonna die very soon, okay? Uh, most likely, so uh, yeah, there's nothing to worry about, all right? Yeah, 200 episodes, yeah. Unless Google YouTube give me carte blanche so that I can, unless Google YouTube give me some exception to their policy for me, I'm not gonna upload those 200 episodes, okay? So. But no need to worry because I'm going to regurgitate it like a good cow, good ox. Yeah, chewing the cards, okay? I will regurgitate for you, okay? So that it's easier for you to chew and swallow. Yeah, what well, is so gross? Look, penguin. Don't you love penguins in Antarctica? That's what they do to feed their children, okay? Yeah, parent, penguin, go to the ocean, eat all this fish, and warm it up, regurgitate, throw it up to feed their baby penguins. That's what I'm gonna do, okay? So that it's easier to, for you to digest. Look, that's what happens in the penguin world, animals, okay? I, I'll do the same thing, okay? Yeah, I will regurgitate all the knowledge, all the discoveries, scientific, human knowledgeable, linguistical, mathematical, okay, that I discovered in this past 200 episodes that I'm not going to publish unless Google YouTube give me carte blanche, special treatment, okay, some exception to their policy so that I can upload all that. Unless they do that, 
no worries. I will regurgitate it for you. Okay, I will revisit the, those issues, concepts, subjects. If I feel like it. If I have time. Alright, so. What can I say? Okay? I cannot make you any promises. Alright? I don't know why my pinky finger on my right hand is sore. I don't know. We'll take five minutes back, okay, so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Take five, please. Yeah, I'm getting drunk. <laughs> so. Yeah. Let's take five minutes break and see what happens. Yeah.
Okay, you know what? I cannot use my right hand and I'm not gonna use my left hand to draw some diagrams uh, because where's my glasses? Uh, So I just give you some narrative, all right? So, because I don't feel like using my left hand to draw a diagram, okay? It's like zygomoid function, all right? Yeah, well, past two episodes, I extensively talked about zygomoid function and its relationship with Gaussian function, derivative, integral, kind of not exactly okay but they kind of look like that i even make some derivative integral all that shit all that mathematics i did that in this past some of past 200 episodes okay maybe we'll cover it sometime go over it my <laughs> right hand is not hurting but it is hurting now why because i'm old Okay, all different parts of my, my body start to degrade. I'm aging. I'm 41 years old. Okay? Whatever. So, I, I just give you a narrative, okay? It goes like this. So, in the beginning, there were carbon dioxides in the air. Okay, and then there came plants. Carbon dioxide, my friends. They are the food for plants, right? They absorb carbon dioxide, absorb the sunlight, water, minerals, whatever. And they start manufacturing these carbohydrates, carbs, right? They store it in their fruits, sugar, in their trunk, root. They are carbon fixers, carbon absorbers. They ground carbons flying in the air on the ground. So that all this carbon, carbon dioxide, CO2 become part of the body of this plant. Okay? Now, reverse process, vice versa, is the plant eaters, herbivores. Okay? Yeah, vegetarians. They eat the plants, animals. They eat plants. They fart. They breathe. So they give back carbon dioxide from these grounded plants back into the air. So carbon dioxide, methane, you name it. Alright, there's herbivores, bacteria, fungus, whatever. Okay? So... As plants eat up all these carbon dioxide molecules in the air and bind it, ground it on the earth, plant earth surface, carbon dioxide in the air decreases in volumes. Right? Yeah, plants they speak volumes. Okay? So first actor in this theater of this global climate change, carbon cycle, global warming and cooling, icing, de-icing, icing, de-icing, this sinus, sinus, this sine curve, up and down, up and down, just like day and night, day and night, eternal cycle of icing, de-icing, icing, de-icing, global warming, global cooling, global warming, global cooling, okay? <clears throat> and that's what people found out, archaeologists, scientists, okay, yeah. It's been always like that, right? That's why I'm telling you there's nothing to worry about, right? <sighs> Whatever. 
Yeah, so uh, it goes like that. Okay, so how, why is it sine curve? Why does it go up and down, up and down? I'll tell you, <laughs> okay? Yeah, it's too bad I cannot use my right hand and I don't want to use my left hand to draw. I'll just give you a narrative, okay? All right? Because nobody came up with the right model for this. We can. Why? Because we are smart. All right. We are doing this together. All right. If you are watching this, guess what? You are contributing to it. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. In the beginning, first actor comes to the stage in the theater that we call planet Earth, carbon dioxide, object, right? Next, what's the second actor next level in this seven echelon in humanology? Yeah, you have object, plant, animal, human, and then you have ideologies that we call concept, and then angels, perhaps Jesus, prophets, whatever. And then God, the seven hierarchy, seven echelons in uh, humanology, okay? Now, what's humanology? Yeah, it's about the universe and human being because human being is microcosm of the universe. Universe is the macrocosm of, macrocosmos of human, humans. Just like God in Bible, yeah creating human being after his own image. God, universe. Human being, homo sapiens. Okay? We mirror the universe. God. Okay? So, yeah, Bible play a big part in humanology. Alright? That part, yeah, is already recorded and uploaded and published. Okay? If Google, YouTube doesn't erase it, yeah, it will be still there. Alright? Just look it up. Okay? Let's move on. So, at first, this object, plant, all right? Yeah, I'm a plant. I'm gonna observe my food in the air. Oh, my tree branches and leaves. Yeah, photosynthesis, okay? Carbon binding, okay? Yeah, I store all these carbons into my body. Beautiful tree body. Yeah, I'm tree model, I'm plant, I'm lean and thin, okay? I don't consume any sugar, fat, no. But I do produce some carbo, carbohydrate, okay? In my body, my roots, trunk, leaves, fruits, okay? It's all from this carbon dioxide in the air, okay? So please. Don't blend the innocence, okay? Carbs, carbon dioxide, they're not too bad, okay? Yeah, they are my food. So yeah, keep breathing. Be alive. Keep living. So that the breath of air that you breathe out, carbon dioxide, it's my food. I'm a plant, tree, grass, okay? Dandelion, okay? Oh, I'm dandy. I'm a dandelion, yellow flower, green leaves, okay? Yeah. <laughs> you have to understand, I'm being very nice, okay? Because Google YouTube warned me, hey man, you have to watch your mouse. Hey man, you have to watch my, your mouse, okay? I will watch my mouse, okay? You know what? I'm a good performer, in my opinion. I'm a good actor, good comedian, in my opinion, okay? So I can make people laugh without offending anybody. Uh, perhaps you're offended by my Asian-ness, my squinted eyes. Maybe that offends you because I look so Asiatic, Oriental. I'm sorry. What do you want me to do? Commit suicide? 
Come on. Just tolerate me, my Asianness, my Asian accent, my squinted eyes. Okay, please tolerate me. Okay, I would greatly appreciate it. All right. Does it go down bad? Go, does it go down better, Mister Miss Miss Mister Google YouTube employees who's watching this, because it's your job. Does it go down better? Am I being more politically correct? Whatever. Okay, we'll take a break very soon. Okay, because my vocal cord needs some rest after every ten to fifteen minutes. All right, I'm old. All right, but I'm enjoying this. Okay, it's too bad I cannot use my right hand. Okay, it's, it's so old. I don't know why. Okay, I'm just old. My body aches. It circulate, rotate. Sometimes it's my back, neck. Ankle, knee, my feet, my hands, my elbow, my shoulder. Okay, it's, that's just rotate. That's what happens when you are old. When you get old, all right. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. So first, there's carbon dioxide object. Then they are yeah, in the theater of the planet Earth stage, theatrical stage. First came this object, and the second actor, second character, yeah, plants. Okay, they start absorbing all this carbon dioxide, right? And after carbon dioxide is all absorbed by the plants, yeah, plants they strive thrive, flourish. All the planet Earth is covered by plants. Yeah. Exponential growth, right? One tree give out hundred seeds. So their next generation, hundred trees. Each of those hundred trees give out hundred trees, more trees, is exponential growth of plants. So they are exponential growth of plants, but there's so much carbon dioxide in the air, so they run out. So plants start to starve to death. They get buried under and become gas and oil. Okay, it's a sigmoidal function, okay, ah, my goodness, you know, yeah, you know, if I feel like it, if I have time for it, I go over the sigmoid function and its relation to Gaussian normal distribution. It's too bad, I talked about that all this time in this past 200 episodes but I said some offensive things so Google YouTube does not allow that that's fine I do it again I mean not offensive remarks but sigmoid function and its relationship with Gaussian normal distribution curve bell curve I'll do that again okay if I feel like it if I have time, okay? But I will not say anything offensive to you, all right? Why? Uh, because it was a good advice from Google YouTube and I will take it to my heart. Yeah, I want to be a better human being. It was an educational experience. They corrected me and I thank them for it. Okay. I was wrong, right? To say all these offensive things to people. Yeah. They corrected me and I'll take it. Okay. Yeah. So 
I'm not gonna say anything offensive, all right? If I have, if I did, I apologize. I'm sorry. Okay. It's an evolution. Yeah, I evolve like a virus. Some of friends of mine, they're so smart. Hey, you gotta use that as your presidential campaign motto. Yeah, I evolve like a virus. I learn, adapt, like Darwinian evolution, okay? Yeah, I evolve like a virus. Use that for your presidential campaign or whatever. I will. And I am. Why? Because this YouTube, Google YouTube video, Human Art Series, this is one and only presidential, presidential campaign activity I'm doing. Or Alaska State Senate campaign I'm doing. I'm not doing anything else. Yeah, actually, I do something else, okay? I talk to radio, talk show. I write to local newspaper, local radio, talk show, okay? Yeah, I do that, but this is main thing, right? So, yeah. We take five minutes back, right? So, yeah. yeah. Let's take five minutes back.
Okay, let's take a break. After break, right? So, uh, where's my glasses? Let's take a break from all this. You know, obviously we are not going to use this whiteboard, okay? I don't know how I injured my right hand. It's pinky finger tendon, right? <sighs> I'm old. Just comes out of nowhere. Body aches, all different my body parts. <sighs> it happens, right? Uh, Okay, let's go go ahead with this narrative, all right? So, uh, where did we finish off of? <laughs> Maybe it's kind of brand new style, not quite familiar to you yet because we are skipping 200 episodes in this human analogy series, okay? <laughs> but, human analogy series in Google YouTube, okay, it has evolved quite a lot in past five months, half a year, right? Yeah, so this is the style that has been evolved, right? So, and it's cool, okay, so, all right? Yeah, it's all good. Uh, okay, so first there were objects like carbon dioxide, inanimate, right? Then there's plant eating up all this carbon dioxide as food. It's drinking water, getting the sun sunshine, basking in the sun, drinking water, eating carbon dioxide from the air, right? And it binds the carbon dioxide as its body. As plants, right? Now, third actor is animal or bacteria or fungus, whoever eats plants. Okay, that's a third actor. It releases back the carbon that plants bound on the ground from the air when animal eats plants yeah poo and pee burp fart okay what's the english word for fart euphemism festulate right or it breathes Animal, plant eaters, deer, moose, rabbits, they breathe. Like it's like gasoline, engine, cars, or human being. We eat carbohydrates or protein, fat, it's all look the same, okay? It has carbon backbones in molecular structures. Okay? Yeah, we release back as we breathe carbon dioxide in the air all right cars yeah they consume dead plants coal gasoline oil oil and gas they release carb carbon atoms back to there in the form of uh, carbon dioxide whatever okay so carbon fixers, they are plants, photosynthesis. Carbon releasers, they are bacteria, animal, cars, machines, power plants, whatever. The rest of us. Okay? Yeah. 
So there's carbon dioxide in the air. There are plants, carbon ground grounders, carbon fixers, and then there are carbon releasers, plant eaters. We are talking about machines, cars, human beings, animals, or bacteria, fungus. Okay, I don't know what virus arises. Right? So, okay. Three actors, carbons, carbon grounders, and carbon releasers. Okay, There's a, those are the three actors in this model of global climate cycle. Global warming, global cooling, global warming, global cooling, okay. So, why is it has to be sin, sinusoidal curve, like sine curve? It's because uh, it takes some time, there's some delay time, lag time, okay, to catch up with each other. And also because there are some survivors, all right? I talked about this in past 200 or so episodes. I'm just regurgitating it. Why? Because I said things so offensive and Google YouTube does not allow that. And I respect that, all right? So I'm regurgitating it to you. And this is not the only thing that I said in this past 200 episodes that I'm forbidden to upload. I talked about physics, mathematics, linguistics, chemistry, biochemistry, organic chemistry. I have discovered so many things. Right, but Google YouTube, they came to me. Hey, you're too offensive. Okay, so all these 200 episodes, I said the same kind of offensive things, so I'm not gonna upload it unless Google YouTube give me carte blanche. All right, but don't worry, I regurgitate to, to you. All right, we'll go over it. Go over it again. Alright? It's like, yeah, this elementary school or like Bart Simpson, you know, The Simpsons cartoon, Los Angeles, California, right? Yeah, Conan O'Brien worked there as a writer for some years, right? Whatever. Back when you were in elementary school, you get some you misbehaved. So you write down the same sentence hundred times on the blackboard. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I did something wrong. I did something wrong. I just, yeah, that's what I'm doing, okay? Because I did say some offensive things and I admit, yeah, I was wrong. I'm sorry, okay? To offend all those human beings. Okay, I'm sorry. All right. So it's my punishment to regurgitate all the things I said in this past 200 humanology episodes. Three hours each. <laughs> 600 hours. I have to regurgitate all that shit, okay? Uh, such a punishment. I have to repair myself. But I'll do it. For you. Okay? Humanity. Google YouTube employees or the true viewers of this human knowledge series if you ever exist. I don't know. I cannot tell. Alright? No matter who is watching this human knowledge series, I, there's no way I can tell. Whether you are Google YouTube employees, you are watching this because you have to, because you are being paid to, or you may be true, genuine, original viewers. There's no way I can tell. Alright? And either way, I'm okay with it. 
Why? Because I have an audience. As a former performer, I used to be in Los Angeles, California to be an actor. There were more actors on the stage. Audience sit empty. So every now and then this one kind and generous person in the audience. We actors, two dozens of us, we are so excited. Los Angeles, California. Okay? Orange County, Anaheim, Community Theater, where I was there. When? When? Two decades ago. Something like that. Yeah, 15 years ago. Okay, so. Yeah, oh, yeah, we have audience. We have one audience who want to watch us perform. Oh, we are so excited, happy. We'll do our best to please this one audience. Two dozen of two dozens of us, more actors on the stage, just one person in the audience. But we are so grateful, happy. We we'll do our best to entertain this one audience who took his or her money, time to see us perform. Yeah, we will entertain that one audience member. We were so grateful. We are talking about 2007 maybe. In Orange County, Anaheim, I think. That's what I recall, okay? Yeah, we are community theater, okay? We have full-time jobs, day jobs. But we wanted to be the shining star over the Hollywood sky, all right? We wanted to be famous, rich, powerful. Yeah, we are actors, actresses with full-time job. I was a computer programmer in Pasadena, California, all right? I, I'm regurgitating all this because it's what I already said in this past two, 200 episodes, okay, so. But I said some things, okay, so. Uh, now, I'm not gonna off say anything offensive, right? We'll do science, history. We're not gonna offend anybody, okay? So, Google YouTube policy, yeah, they're good, right? Because we don't want to discriminate anybody. If I say things that would offend a certain group, then they're not gonna come here because their feelings will got, got hurt. So, indirectly, I'm discriminating against that particular group. Uh, first, that's not very fair, right? First, all those groups of people, maybe they, 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 they do deserve second chance of repentance. Yeah, we all make sins. We make mistakes, okay? First, they deserve second chances. And Google, YouTube, they gave me second chance. Okay? Maybe I should do the same thing to the people in the world. Okay? And not offend them so that they can come here and get some benefit of the knowledge, wisdom that God gave me, bestowed me. Right? I'm not claiming to be a prophet, God's messenger, because I don't know who sent me or whether anybody sent me. I don't know. I'm only a human being. Okay? But I sometimes do believe that uh, I perhaps maybe in the future, maybe I become a prophet, prophet. I don't know. Okay? And to be honest with you, I don't care. 
All I can say to you is that I do my best, right? Google YouTube came to me, corrected me, and I listened. I obeyed. Alright, yeah, maybe. My mouth was too dirty, okay? And also it's in the Bible, alright? So yeah, God gave me this iron and He ironed my mouth. So yeah, you Google YouTube employees. You're God's messengers to me. You are the prophets to me. You are angels, guardian angels to me, okay? You are protecting me. You are correcting me. You are God's messengers, Google YouTube employees. You are my prophets. Alright? So yeah, thank you. If you are atheist, thank you too. Okay? You are my bodies, alright? Yeah, thank you for correcting me as a brother or sister, okay? If you are, happen to be atheist, you care about me, right? I, because I have atheist friends, men and women, okay? Yeah, they correct me because they do care about me. All right? Yeah, thank you for caring about me, correcting me, making me a better person. Thank you. God bless you. Okay, you don't believe in God. Okay, how can I possibly bless you? Do you want me to say, I bless you? But I'm not higher being than you are. Right? Then what do you want me to say? Mr. Ms. Atheists? Yeah, thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for caring. And I hope, not pray because pray is kind of a religious concept and you are a-religious, you are atheist, right? Yeah, so I'm not going to pray. I'm not going to pray for you. Because you don't like concept of prayer, God, right? You are atheist, agnostic perhaps. Okay, I thank you. And I hope for the best for you. Okay? I think you deserve good life, good future for generations to come. And I hope you, your children, your grandchildren achieve that good things in the world. Okay? You're, you're a very good person. Okay? Alright. Let's take, take five minutes break, okay? My right hand is healing, but it's kind of, yeah, right? So, uh, we'll take five minutes break. After that, yeah, we'll do this global climate cycle, carbon cycle, right? As a narrative, because my right hand is still recovering, all right? So give my right hand some break, okay? Okay, very good. Let's get some fresh Alaska knocks in, all right?
know, let's take a break. All this mumbo jumbo, okay. So it was you, good YouTube employee, who's been watching this, right? You and only you been watching this. It was you, right? For the past two to three months, prior to February 2020, it was you, right? I can kind of tell, okay? <laughs> Thank you. God bless you, right? So, uh, yeah. Let me grab my glasses. All this time, okay, I was thinking somebody on this planet Earth, in the universe, paid attention to what I had to say, humanology, right? But it was a fake audience. They were being paid to hear, listen to what I have to say, to watch me perform, acting, writing, mathematics, physics, humanology. I was bummed, all right, like yesterday when Google YouTube sent me this notice. Yeah, it did hurt my feelings. Okay, yeah, so congratulations. Happy Valentine's Day coming, okay. Yes, I was disappointed because you are, you, you, you are a fake audience, right? Nobody wants to watch this. I mean, I knew it, all right? In a way, long ago, all right? Because, yeah, I was wondering who will be watching this humanology series. When I talk about all this shit and garbages, dirty mouth, all right? Who would be watching this time and again unless they get paid to watch this? Okay, so yeah, I, I did suspect that. I did. Okay, so I was just wondering who is paying for this one person to watch all this? I did not guess it was of all places, Google YouTube. I did not guess that until yesterday when this Google YouTube gave me a notice. All right. I was sorely disappointed. Not at you, uh, not at myself, but the fact that uh, I don't have any true audience. Right. But you are still a human being. You are an employee, right? So am I. You do what your employers tell you to do. So do I. Every single day. Okay. Yeah. But you're a human being. You're not a machinery. Now my left hand is sore, okay? What do I do? <laughs> Use my leg, my toes. Yeah. We are all human beings. We want to eat, drink. We want food. All right? So let me use my facial muscle. Okay, because my right hand so my left hand is getting so uh, I'm old. All right. Plus, I should stop smoking and drinking. Okay, whatever. I mean, you are a Google YouTube employee, being paid to watch this, spending time with me. I'm an employee too. We all are. 
right? It's a circular. Employers, CEOs, they serve the customers, right? It's all circular, right? A anybody, everybody is serving somebody else. Even the president of the United States, they serve the people, his voters, future voters, electorates. Okay, yeah, it's all the same. Okay. Yeah, so you are an employee for Google YouTube, right? You want to keep your job. Well, guess what? I want to keep mine too. We all the same. Okay. Yeah. We're not that different. Maybe your politics very liberal leaning, Democratic Party, whatever, progressive, right? I'm Republican. I'm more conservative, Republican Party. Christian, maybe you're secular, atheist, whatever. Okay. Maybe you're Jews, maybe you are Muslims, or Hindus, Buddhist, Sikhist. I mean, yeah, the Sikh turban. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. All right. So whatever religion, politics you may have. I'm sorry if I have ever offended you, okay? In a sense, you are a captive audience because you don't want to watch this. You are here against your will. I apologize to you. I'm sorry that I ever offended you. And most likely I did. That's why you went to your superiors and reported about me saying things so offensive to you personally you are a human being you are not a robot i don't think you are some artificial intelligence program censoring all this google youtube okay yeah most likely you are a human being a person with feelings your own politics religion your background your parents your friends i don't know what gender you are Maybe you're female, male. I don't know what your race is. Ethnicity. I don't know. Okay? In a way, you're like God. Why? Because you are invisible to me. Mr. Ms. Ms. Mr. Google YouTube employee who's watching this at this very moment. I don't know anything about you your gender, your sexual orientation, your religion, politics, your ethnicity, your race, your age, your educational background. I don't know. But if you've been here long enough, you know everything about me. Because I said all, every single thing about me. Right? You're like God. You are invisible to me, but you see me. I don't see you. You are like God. Just because you are a Google YouTube employee. Okay? You don't know about me? Not enough? I'll tell you. Okay? I live in Alaska. I'm Korean American. I got my citizenship in America because I was I just happened to be born here, right? Yeah, Republicans they want to kick me out. Why? Oh, this birth citizenship, birth tourism. Okay, whatever. Just because my parents are not American citizens. Yeah. Conservative Christian Republicans. They don't see me as an American citizen, right? I'm okay with that, right? If President Trump get reelected in 2020 November, right? Yeah, next year 2021, 
perhaps he and his people want to kick people like me out of America. I'm not gonna protest. Just like I never sing, voiced a single objection to your Google YouTube policy, your ruling that yeah, this episode, Human Analysis episode 585, it was too offensive. We rejected. I did not appeal that decision. Why? I'm busy. I have better things to do. Alright? So if America kicks me out, President Trump and his people deprive me of American citizenship, I'm not going to contest it. I'll get out of this country. No objection, no problem. I get out with my own money. I buy one way ticket, airplane, and I get out of America. Why? Because Google, YouTube, America, it's all the same, right? You don't tolerate people, right? You want people to be the same robot, machine. You cannot tolerate any objections. You don't allow diversity of ideas. You want everybody to be the same. Right? So yeah, that's what America has become in this 2020 year. Google, YouTube, your corporate culture, America, President Trump, it's all the same. Republicans, Democrats, all the same. You don't allow any objection, any freedom, liberty. It's not America anymore. America is coward, afraid, fearful. It's no longer the land of the free, home of the brave, vice versa. <laughs> I don't memorize this national anthem, I'm sorry, okay? Home of the brave, land of the free, whatever. Home of the free, land of the brave. That's not America anymore. Just like you, Google YouTube employee. You report me to your superiors, right? Why? Perhaps I was too much. Right? I offended your feelings, your ideologies, your religion, your politics, or lack thereof, your belief system, your race, your identity, Perhaps I offended you, right? So you want to get back at me, take some revenge. Because you could not tolerate me talking about things against your ideologies that you subscribe to. Okay? No matter what politics, religions, or lack thereof, your race, your age, your gender, your gender identity. Right. President Trump and his people, the Republican Party, they are the same way. They are no different from you. They are not better than you. And they try to kick me out of this country. Once before. It's unheard of because I expressed that, I accounted that story in this past 200 episodes. President Trump and his people trying to kick me out of this country. I did talk about that in length over multiple episodes. Even if, even though I voted for him in 2016, I even prayed for him. I even almost cried when he got elected. But he and his people turned their backs against me. They tried to kick me out of this country. And I talked about that in length in these past 200 episodes. 
but because you reported me to your superiors. Now there's 200 episodes. I am not going to up upload that to Google YouTube. Why? Because I said some things. The same thing in episode 585 that you rejected. You gave me warning, right? It was nice and kind and gentle. I get it. I appreciate it. All right. But you said you and your people Google YouTube. Yeah, you do this again. We suspend you for one week, one strike. Yeah, right now it's just warning, okay? But you do this again, one strike, one week suspension. Second strike, what? Six days or two weeks suspension? I don't remember, okay? But third strike, yeah, we'll get rid of your account. Everything you ever uploaded to YouTube, it will be removed, eliminated it forever. I mean, I appreciate the gradual fashion, okay? I wouldn't call it a fascism or dictatorial dictatorship or Nazism, okay? But it starts to look like that. So you may not like President Trump. He's so dictatorial, tyrannical. He's above the law, Nazi, racist. Uh, but I see some similarity between President Trump that you may not like and your own corporation, Google YouTube, and you too. All right? Yeah, you snitched on me to your superiors just because what? I hurt your feelings. I offended you. Do you know what I do when some people offend me? I tolerate. All right? Perhaps you are too young. Oh yeah, you're you are in Los Angeles, California. And you are not Los Angeles. You are San Francisco, Silicon Valley, California. So most likely you're liberal. I don't know what race or gender or sexual orientation you may have, right? Well, obviously I did offend you, right? So yeah, you snitch on me to your boss. You go to your boss. Hey, look at this guy. Okay, I'm gonna show you what he said. Okay. This guy's bad. He offended my feelings. So yeah, punish him. <sighs> maybe you're too young. Maybe you're female. Maybe you're ethnic. Maybe you're mixed race. Maybe you're LGBT. Maybe you're t covered by tattoos and piercings. Maybe you're obese. Right? I don't know. I don't know any single thing about you. But you know everything about me. You know I'm Asian. You know I'm Alaska. You know I'm nobody. You know I don't work for a big corporation. I'm underdog. Small guy in Alaska. Asian male. You know all about me. I'm 41 years old. Old. Balding hair. Covering my balding spot. You know all about me. And I don't know anything about you. So I did not intend to offend you because I don't know anything about you. I don't know what your race is, what your politics, religion, age, nationality is. So if I happen to have offended you, I'm sorry, but it's not intentional. Why? Because I don't know anything about your politics, your religion, age, race, sexual orientation. I don't know anything about you. If I happen to off have offended you, I'm sorry, I apologize, but I didn't intend it. Why? Because I cannot possibly intend that offense because I don't know anything about you, you Google YouTube employee. Right? Does it make sense? <laughs> do what you gotta do, okay? Yeah, give me one strike, second strike, third strike, or just get rid of all these accounts. I don't give a F about it. Do what you gotta do. Alright? And happy fucking Valentine's Day.